Ladies and ghouls, good afternoon. I am happy to tell you that yesterday I did have a chance to work on the West Coast Hunters Convention showroom floor slash vendor video, which means that it's that much closer to the time that I work on the pallet tutorial video. Hopefully whatever I use for the intro or whatever works because I've done it like six times I'm still not happy with it. So it might have been a little rough. I apologize for that. Um, however guys, there is a yard sale up the street right up there and I am going to go and check it out. I'm not going to bring the camera with me. If there's anything interesting then I'll bring it back with me. Um, so nothing haunty at the yard sale. Um, but I did sit and talk to him for a while. Uh, long story short, Lori Lee and I saw somebody come from the house a while ago that wasn't supposed to be there so we were kind of letting them know about that oh shoot I forgot one of my chores one of my errands printer paper you guys will be happy to know that I'm working actively actively working on the video now West Coast Honors convention was what two weeks ago and I'm finally getting around to doing this I'm not sure if it'll be done today or not but honestly just kind of taking it easy and Okay, here's how much material I have left to go. This right here is the zero minute mark. This is the five minute mark. <laughs> and this is all the material that I have. Uh, so we're at 38 minutes right there. So yeah, Troy still has a huge chunk of material to go through. I hate it when I don't know what he means. Rice? Right? Wait. I'm going for a ride. Oh, you're going for a ride? Right. Oh, okay. I said I love you. I know there's a bunch of you that have been following for a really long time, and I really, really appreciate that. Believe me, I do. Um, there's been a lot of things in, in during the vlogs and during my life for the last four years that I said that I'm going to do, and I, I've been thinking about it today. It's like, wow, oh, I said I was going to do that, which I, I'm just using that as an example because I can't remember. <laughs> I've got CRS really bad. I can't remember. Yeah. So, so I decided today, since I'm still editing video, I want to start with this video, but I'm going to try and update you guys on everything that I can think of that I said that I've been working on or said that I've wanted to do just so that you guys kind of know where I'm at. Let's start with the vendor video. The vendor video is from West Coast, West Coast Hunters Convention this year. You guys have already seen what I've been doing today, but right now at this moment, I'm at just about the six and a half minute mark. So there's approximately... Uh, 26 minutes that I still have left to edit before this video is done which brings us to the palette wall tutorial video I am at the 3 minute 36 second mark and there's a crap ton of footage <laughs> uh, 47 minutes total with a bunch of space in between so I'm approximately the same place on this video that I am with the West Coast uh, trade show floor video. As far as the business goes, I'm in the process of filling out the home application permit, the general business license, and then also uh, application for self-employment assistance program through the state. And then also to update you guys on the house, um, I did go through everything and the loan has been modified, so yay with that. Now I'm in the process of going through and trying to assume the loan to get it into just my name. Yes, it is still in my ex-wife's name. You guys didn't know that, did you? Here's something a little bit more recent. The pictures from Crypticon from this last weekend um, have been framed, and I'm just waiting to put them up on the wall. So that's where these lie, along with all my stuff up here that I need to go through. The special guest is still slated for June the 7th, which is a week from today. So even though it's Sunday today and you guys are watching this Monday, it's still a week from today that you will be able to see the video with a special guest, eh? If you guys were wondering about this coin, it is currently selling for $25 with just under two days left. So if you guys want to see this, this is what it's listed as. You can go and see it live on eBay. <laughs> Plug for eBay. The special five-year anniversary shot glasses. I still have not ordered them. It is in my brain to do so. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Um, but rest assured that I still want to do a pre-sale on them. I will do the pre-sale as soon as I have positively confirmed the order for them. Uh, on my list of all the stuff that I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, um, I've also got, uh, and you can't read my writing, but I've got Monster in the Box and the Man-Eating Plant. We're not going to go there. Those... Uh, have no def definite 
end dates. <laughs> um, and in all honesty, the monster in the box, that was Keith's. So, you know, um, the monster in the box, for the way that it, it needs to work, uh, the box has got to be secured because it will fall apart the way that it is right now. Um, and then the man-eating plant, um, everything's in storage, so it's just a matter of getting it out. But those take a back burner to the prop that I've got started out there. Haunt planning. You guys are always asking me, like, what are you going to do for this year's haunt? You guys have heard some of the items that I'm going to do as far as, like, the uh, the uh, gypsy-type fortune teller that uh, Charlotte is assuming the, the character of. Uh, she is going to be at the beginning of the haunt establishing flow control so that she will be able to sit there and either play with the people or just kind of let them through depending upon what we have time for and uh, how busy we are. Uh, and then you also know that uh, the backstory is going to stay the same. The backstory allows us to pull from uh, the Hellmouth so that we can introduce anything into the haunt and it will make sense. Uh, so with that being said, uh, the Dark Clown Maze, and I'm calling kind of calling it a maze, but it's just going to be a dark-ass area that clowns are going to pop up and people have to find their way through. Okay, so I guess that would be a maze. Uh, but it's not going to be like a huge maze. As far as the website goes, here's something that I know that you guys probably don't know. There are actually two websites right now for Halloween Hellmouth. One of them is the older original HalloweenHellmouth.com. The other one is HellmouthHauntedHouse.com, and this is the one that um, Debbie, my cousin, has been working on. So it's um, looking a lot more professional. We haven't done a whole lot of work on it lately because both of us have been busy with um, other projects and stuff like that. Mainly me trying to make money to keep my, my, my family afloat. As far as all the bottles are concerned, I think that I'm just going to take and uh, package them up and use them in the haunt. Um, also, a lot of you guys have uh, been wondering about Popcorn's fern. Here's how the ferns are kind of doing. Now, keep in mind, they're supposed to be red. So this part right here, except for this very end piece, this is still alive. This is still alive. Um, it's a little... Okay, it's dead here on the ends. Um, but I think it's because it's got way too much sun, and that's my fault. Tree! I was just walking by, it's like, oh crap. Tree. These are the only pieces of that tree next door um, that have popped up so far this year. So everybody, and there's a couple of you guys were recommending a tricoplore, I think is how you pronounce it, um, to kill this tree. Oh my gosh, it so did a good job. You gotta take a look at the tree stump now. Look at that guys, tree stump be dead along with all the ivy too. So that's really good news. Ah, oh, I just saw those. Oh, bad, I gotta get that stuff back out here and do this. But those two, and now they're growing. Um, but we haven't had nearly the problem that we had last year with a stupid tree growing up and popping up all over the yard. The piano still sits. I need to go and pull the um, power supply out of the back of it. And this right here is the solenoid. And I've got everything packaged up for the solenoid. Well, I don't have it packaged up yet. Um, but I've got like the pieces of the solenoid there um, packaged up. Because uh, I got some more metal to pull off of it, and then we're going to bust this piece apart, and we're going to burn it. So that's where the piano is at. Costumes? <laughs> Costumes have not changed any. They still need to be handled and gone through. And it, it's so late right now, it's like, gosh, it's almost to the point of, why put them back? Just leave them there. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave them there. Um, so that they're just there so I can figure out what needs to be done with them, which ones we're keeping, which ones we're getting rid of. So, if I missed anything, you guys put it down in the comments and I'll handle it in tomorrow's video. Anything that in the past I've said that I'm going to do, or you guys were wondering about like an update or whatever, I mean, this is really good. It gives us a time to kind of talk one-on-one -on -one while I still have a voice. <laughs> And, uh, you know, let you guys know, like, what's going on and what's up. This has nothing to do with anything, but I got a new uh, shield in there, too. And it was, like, 12 bucks at Walmart. So that means that I saved the barbecue from having to get another one, which at this time is stellar. Okay, I think that's it. Another update. There's 153 days left until Halloween. And one of the last updates that's extremely obvious... I'm still sick. I can't help but laugh because it just sucks so badly because there's so many things I need to be doing right now. Like three clips, well three and a little bit of clip over here left. Oh my gosh, so awesome. Oh, Albany Haunt, shout out! So I think it's going to be done today, tonight. You guys might have already seen it. 
Now that's where the vlog time continuum totally screws with my head. And the render has begun. <laughs> Alright guys, so I took a short nap while the video was rendering. Then I woke back up. It's 4.31 in the morning right now. And I'm just now doing COC. The whole vlog's edited. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Although me and my state of sickness. Um, as I like phlegm and snot. If I blow a snot bubble at you guys, I sincerely apologize. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and again, if there's anything that I haven't updated that you would like to know, um, except, except a few areas, and if I don't comment on it, then that's the area that I, I won't update, um, then post it down below in the comments. And as far as the punishment last night for forgetting the outro, I think I deserve a pass. Lori Lee seems to think that I don't, and that I should eat sardines, so if I'm going to eat a freaking sardine, then make it now while I can't taste anything, so that if I throw up, I can blame it on my sickness, so I won't seem like a wuss. Alright, cosplayers of Florida, Alistair Dixon, That Barb Girl, This Love Seek, Virus Haunt, Apocalypse 38th, Troy, can you at least tell us if the new prop is pneumatic, electric, or static? Yes, it's one of those. <laughs> And Emerald Gypsy Heart said the same thing. The Nightmare Haunted House. Captain Howdy. See, thank you. You want to give me a break on being sick for the punishment. Uh, Triv27. Um, Epoxy Resin and a bunch of other you... Other... Other... You Utes have <laughs> said the same thing. <laughs> Riot Starter B. I got punished by joking with you about being sick and now I'm sick. What comes around goes around. When I was in uh, junior high... And in elementary school, I used to make fun of people that had acne. And then what happens? Yeah, I got the bad case. People called me Pizza Face. So, yeah. So, I don't make fun of people anymore. <clears throat> Not to their face, anyway. Just kidding. Emerald Gypsy Heart says, free pass. Jordan Winton says, no excuses. Punishment. Lori Lee needs to wax him. That would actually be a good thing. I would enjoy that. It would hurt like hell, but I would enjoy that. Borgex2679, thank you, you also believe that I need a pass. And Miss Loveseek posted like frickin' four times saying, No excuses, no outros, next punishment was eating sardines. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 All right, happy haunting, guys. <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> See you tomorrow. Maybe, if I don't die.